Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There is an issue that appeared lately concerning the version of DLSS program that Microsoft Flight Simulator uses in order to run this game. In many clips that I watched lately, I noticed that there is a claim, maybe it is not a claim, but actually it is a fact, that uh, Microsoft downgraded the version of the DLSS program that you use to an older version and actually all these clips that I watched suggest you to download a special program which can detect the version of the DLSS application that you use and restore it to a previous version or upgrade it to the latest version. At the same time all these clips which appeared lately suggests you to change the DirectX version that you use for the game for MSFS 2020 from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12. If you have a look at this page which is a page from the original site of NVIDIA it is clear that DLSS 3 which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling this kind of technology is supported only by the GeForce RTX series above 4000. Otherwise you use the DLSS 2 version, which means that if you have an Nvidia card below 4000, you will not get the benefits of the new technology of DLSS 3 technology. This is not a clip about performance and about your graphic settings of the game. However, I must admit that I find it a little bit strange that when a problem appears with your performance, if you don't like the graphics and your FPS, let's say during a landing in a heavy environment, a heavy scenery close to an airport or close to a town, flying above a town with extreme details, it is to me a little bit strange that instead of going to your graphic settings, I mean here, and see what you can change from here, from all the settings, which is what we always do when we notice that the game runs slow, you actually ignore your own settings, all the settings here, which are the most important settings, isn't it? And as if you had a sudden enlightenment, you say, I know what is wrong, I think this is a problem of the DLSS version that I use. And so you ignore all your settings and you go to GitHub, I suppose. You think that you find the solution and the solution was to download the special program that detects the DLSS version that you have. I have no reason to doubt that your DLSS version is downgraded. So you think that you fix all your problems by upgrading once again to the latest DLSS version. Don't do nothing that will endanger the stability of your system. Don't do nothing that will endanger the performance of your system. And don't expect that by just pressing the magic button and downloading a simple program, you will fix all your problems that you have to face concerning performance and FPS. This is another screenshot which shows clearly, of course, that DLSS technology definitely benefits the performance of your game. However, have in mind that the examples given are with a resolution of 1920, 1080, which definitely it is not the highest resolution that you can have or that your monitor can handle your computer screen. I repeat once again that this is not a clip about performance and graphic settings. However, the only thing that I would strongly suggest to you is that if you see that your performance of the game is not the expected one, please check this out. Go here on this bar, press right click and go to task manager here and then go to details 
then go Flight Simulator XE, this one here, press right click and go to set priority, okay, and set priority to high. change priority okay never use real-time priority this may destroy your computer just use this one here set priority to high about my anti-aliasing settings i think that nvidia dlss super resolution is the best of all and about nvidia dlss super resolution i prefer the balanced option Needless to say that if you don't have an NVIDIA card, all these are irrelevant and nothing will change to your computer, no matter what settings you put. This is only those gamers that they have an NVIDIA card and actually an RTX NVIDIA card above 3000. Now the second issue, which I think it is even more important, concerns the version of DirectX that you use for the game which will be either the DirectX 11 version or the DirectX 12 version. Of course, I have watched many tutorials that suggest indeed to use the DirectX 12 version and I have nothing against it as long your system is stable. However, there is an extremely important notice in the description that DirectX 12, I hope my cursor is visible, is a beta version and actually that means that it is experimental and you proceed at your own risk. I have posted a few clips about MSFS crashes in my site where I came to the conclusion that the first two suspects for a crash are either your community folder and you must empty your community folder and little by little put back there the content that you have and find which file caused the problem. And the second suspect was DirectX 12. Of course, you can select which version you want. However, game is made in order to run with DirectX 11. As you see here, I have my settings set on DirectX 11. And this is the version that I use. This is another page from Microsoft Flight Simulator site. And here you can see clearly that DirectX 11 is what is officially supported and not DirectX 12. And that DirectX 12 is still an experimental version introduced with SIM update number 7. It is a better one and still remains an experimental version. And also please pay attention to this that a lot of third party don'ts as you see here, will not work with DirectX 12. And all these third-party tones, I suppose that they are in your community folder. That is why we said that your community folder and DirectX 12, actually the combination of those two, are mostly the main suspects of every crash you had or that you will encounter. Now, if you go on Google and you type DirectX 12 plus crashes, you see unfortunately that there are thousands of links which prove that indeed DirectX 12 causes crashes to your computers. And unfortunately the very first of all is from the original site of Microsoft, isn't it? For instance, if you have a look here, I will not insist on this. You can have your own research if you want. As you see here also, other graphic cards may encounter the same problem, isn't it? But this, once again, it is a matter of your choice. So, in general, long story told short, go to your task manager, flight simulator EXE, set priority and set priority to high. Never use real-time priority. This may crash your computer totally. Okay, just set it to high. 
and also have in mind that this from time to time you must check because there is a chance that it will go back to normal which is the default setting I suppose and so maybe sometimes you must uh, again check it and uh, set the priority to high. Last but not the least if you want to have a quick look at my graphic settings are these ones here and this is something dynamic always you must improve you must change your settings in order to have better results okay and don't forget mostly that direct x12 the beta version is an experimental one so you are free to use it but you use it at your own risk ladies and gentlemen this is all for now thank you for watching this clip and hope to see you soon to the next one till then you take care and bye for now